All right, in this video, I'm going to show you build a really dumb app. It's when you click a button, the count on the button is going to change from zero to one to two, which is going to count how many times you've clicked the button. Okay, and we're kind of learning what you need to like the next the next thing I'm going to show you is how to build a, a countdown app. Okay, so this is kind of the start start of that. So, you know, I'm in the designer, I'm just going to add a button to my app. And, you know, kind of a real important part is change the text on the button to some number. I'm going to change it to zero. So that's what we're going to we're going to start with. And maybe I'll just make it a little bigger, uh, a little bigger font size. And, you know, make I'll make the height of this thing uh, larger. So let's see, let's make it 20% of the whole app and and maybe the width is 20% as well. OK, and I think that'll allow me to make my font size even even bigger. Let's see. Okay, anyway, so anyway, I got a button. Every time I click the button, I want the number to add, get one added to it. Okay, and, and we're actually going to use a very like fundamental operation called increment. You know what incrementing just means add one to something, right? Or decrementing means subtract one. And you're going to learn how to do that in code. Like making an app increment is harder. In your mind, you know that seven is after six, right? But you got to make an app do the same thing. Okay, and so what we want what we want is on a button click. What we want is this text, you know, which starts out as zero. We want it to change to one more. Okay, so you might think, okay, well, let's change that text to to one. Um, you know, and just grab the number one, and of course that's that's fine, right? But if we test this and we go back in the designer and run this thing. When I click it, it goes to one, which is cool, but every time I click it, it changes, stays at one. Okay, so it's a little trickier. Let's go back to the blocks. We don't want to change it to, to one. We want it to change it to one more than what it is. Okay, and we can find out what it is with what's called a get block. Okay, so set block says change the text property of the button get block says tell me what tell me what's on that button right now at the current time so i'm going to grab this get block and then i also need a plus operator okay and i'm going to put that right there so essentially what i'm saying is set the text on the button to whatever the 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 current value of the button is plus 1 and this is our increment right um, so now if I go back and test and preview, I can just click this guy and it's just going to keep a count of how many times I've clicked. Okay, not, <laughs> not the most exciting app, but it does show you how to do increment. And, you know, just a couple things about this operation because it is so fundamental and you really want to understand kind of really how it's working. Um, but really it's, you know, if you want to know how this, like the ordering of things, Really what happens is first the app does the right side or almost the inside first. So it says, go see what's on the button. What number's there right now? Okay. Then it adds one to it, kind of calculates that. And then the final thing that happens, so it's not really left to right, it's almost right to left. The final thing that happens is we change the text to the old value plus one. 